So I'm just getting over being sick for the past week. From that and all the other times I've been sick, I've kind of noticed a pattern. Obviously this isn't the case every time you're sick, but I found this to be generally what happens when you're sick. So without further ado, here are the seven stages of being sick. It's that time of year again, and everyone's starting to get sick. You aren't sick yet, but everyone else is coughing or sneezing, and you're bound to get sick at any moment. So you shield yourself from everyone that is sick, and you do everything you can to not get sick yourself. So you pretty much live in fear knowing you're about to get sick. Now this goes on for about a week or two, leading us to our next stage. This is when you haven't gotten sick, even after being around tons of sick people for a while now. So as a result of that, you're very confident that you can't get sick anymore. And so you start to let your guard down. You honestly feel like a god during stage two, but that does not last very long. This is when you're still walking around with all your confidence, but suddenly you cough or your throat feels sore. You tell yourself it's nothing, but deep down you know it's about to go down and your confidence is completely gone. But still, you continue to have a front that you're totally cool and collected. Until stage four. At this point, you should just accept it. But no, we do everything we can to shut out the sickness. This is why I call stage four the denial stage. You're definitely sick by now, but you tell yourself you're not. You even tell other people stuff like, I almost got sick, but I totally shut it out. Being sick is just a state of mind. In my case, every single time I felt like I had to cough, I drank water until I didn't have that feeling anymore. Which I think is something you can actually do to prevent it, but the bad part was is that I made it seem like I was completely fine on the outside, even though deep down in my head, it, it looked like that scene in SpongeBob when he forgets his name and all the little SpongeBobs are like running around in his head. And there's like the fires. I, I hope you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, here's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is when everything you've been trying to hold back hits you like a truck. You go to sleep one night all confident because you haven't gotten sick yet, and then the next morning when you wake up, you feel like absolute death. Now this is the part where you're actually full on sick. This usually lasts for a few days or a week or two, I don't know, it depends how bad the sickness is, but it eventually leads to the next stage. And this stage can branch off into two paths. So the first path for stage six is something that we all did as a kid at some point. This is when you start to get better and you're at the point where you can go out and go to school and do all that stuff. But you keep it going for as long as you can. You've grown accustomed to sitting in bed and playing video games all day and you don't want to change that glorious lifestyle. So whenever someone comes to check on you, you make it seem like you're still sick. But the second they leave, it's back to playing video games or watching TV or whatever you want to do. And you're totally fine. Now the other path of stage six is the complete opposite. You are completely tired of being sick and it's your mission to get better. So you buy all the medicine you need and do whatever it takes to get over being sick. And no matter what path you took in stage six, you're right here at stage seven. It's all over, you aren't sick anymore. You took the necessary time to get over your illness and now you're perfectly healthy. You won't have to worry about being sick for a while now. You're completely done, so go out, enjoy the world. It, it's that easy. You're definitely not sick anymore. It's all over. Thank you.